This is Dr. Tom Elliott, Medical Director of BC Diabetes, and um, I'm here with one of our clients, uh, Gilbert Young. Gilbert, thank you very much for allowing us to, no to record it, it's to really show what we do at BC Diabetes and how CGM helps. Um, Gilbert has agreed that we show you snippets of his uh, electronic medical record. Um, if you can now go back to the medication view, please. Oh, and we're with Mitra, who is his case manager. Thank you, Mitra, for <laughs> making yourself My available. My pleasure. Uh, now, we can see, um, we started working with Gilbert at the end of 2021, and you can see his A1C is 8.5. Then it, it, it didn't do much, and then, and then you can see it started improving late last year. So today, before today's visit, his A1C is 7.3. We've got him on all the best drugs that don't cause low sugar, metformin, empagliflozin, and ozempic. And now we want to get his A1C even better. We want to get it under seven and ideally less than six. How are we going to do that? We're going to use the best motivational tool that's out there and it's called continuous glucose monitoring. Mitra, can you please go? Uh, so now we're looking at um, a snippet of uh, Gilbert's Freestyle Libre data. And what it, what it shows, shows us a bunch of things. The timing range is 83%. We Anything above 70 is good and we want we want Gilbert to get up to 100% if possible. It shows us what his estimated A1C is, and you can see it's at 6.8, which is better than his 7.3. So we know that even in the last few weeks, he's, he's improving. The, the second uh, bit of the graph shows you a, a, a composite of the last two weeks. And then as we scroll down, we get to see how Gilbert is doing day to day. The green area is the target range of 4 to 10. We can see that, that, uh, that today he's perfect. Yesterday he went high um, after breakfast, lunch and dinner. And, and he, so he did the day before. Gilbert, you see those red, um, those ele elevations. Is there anything you can do to prevent those, those red areas of rise? Probably lower carbs or, uh, or like not white carb and, <laughs> and multigrain and whole wheat, which I know I didn't Yeah, so uh, on those two days. So, so you know, I, I didn't prompt Gil Gilbert to say that. he He's like all our clients. At the, the first time we, we see them, we say there's a diabetes revolution. The revolution is driven by this new device called continuous glucose monitors. What it has taught us is that diet is the most powerful treatment. And specifically, we want to avoid white foods if it's not cauliflower or fish, we want you to eat less. Then we teach patients about the glycemic index. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Gilbert knows, what, what's a good glycemic index, Gilbert? Um, five, uh, 5.6 and under? L less than 55, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So you can ask Siri or Google, you know, what's the glycemic index of white bread? And it'll say it's 85. What's the glycemic index of wholemeal bread? It's it's 58. What's the glycemic index of, you know, the latest Costco keto bread? And they'll say it's 15. So that, that's the sort of thing. Um, so, so Gilbert, thank you so much no for letting us record this. And thank you. We can see your numbers are getting better, and, and this, is a, this is a wonderful educational tool. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.